Hey everybody, we're live from the barn and today we're talking about knee boots, how to use them, what some of the different options are, why we would use them, and um, if you have questions as we go along, you're more than welcome to leave those for us. We'll try to get to them. If you're watching the replay, please feel free to leave your questions and comments and we will come back to those as well. Um, do you want to start with why why somebody would need a knee boot? That's a question that we get a lot is what are those and do I need to be riding one of those? I feel like anytime you're teaching a horse to spin, if that's one of the disciplines you're going to do, the cow horses, the rangers, uh, knee boots are a good idea. Um, the reason we have them is because if they take a misstep and they hit the back or front of the knee, the back of the knee, they're going to really hurt that bony section in there and it's going to be very painful and eventually leave like a big lump there. And if they hit the front of the knee, they break a bunch of the blood vessels and it swells up really bad. And when you're teaching them to spin, you don't want them to ever hurt from a misstep. So we can prevent as much as that as we can by just wrapping it and taking care of it. And then we aren't worried about that stuff happening. So anytime that we're training young horse, we want to put it on. What about people that are already showing in the riding or the cow horse? Do they need to put a knee boot on? I think if your horse is a poor turnaround horse and he's coming close to his legs, put it on. I think if ever you're going to push to the limit, you should put it on. I don't ride with one every day. If we're turning and I'm just going at a good constant pace and they're comfortable with it, but I won't always put one on. But the second I push them up to their their level where they're unsure, you know, they're, they're teaching them, they're not sure where their feet are going to be. For me, that's when I'm going to for sure put one on. You know, protect those knees, protect the legs. Without a leg, they're no good. I think it's important for a person who is learning to also consider putting a knee boot on because even if your horse is good at turning around or knows how to turn around sometimes as the rider we can kind of get in their way a little bit and um, maybe get them sucking back a little more and then that's when they're more likely to knock their knees together um, I guess that's just a good point anytime you're learning both human and human. yeah anytime that you are learning or the horse is learning or you're getting used to a new horse or yeah you're stepping it up in your turnaround I think it's it's a good idea it's definitely not something every single person on every single horse has to have, but um, you gotta know where the horses are. Yeah, walking. it's a nice option to protect and prevent mm -hmm. injuries. Yeah. Once their knees hurt, they just boy they shut down. I mean, just the same as a person. If your legs hurt, you don't want to do. You don't want to work. Okay. The boots are cheap compared to horses. So what are the what are all of the ways that you have protected a horse's knee when you've been showing them before? Um, the two that we're going to show people all today. Um, quilts up higher than a wrap. I've done that one a lot. Um, so you would wrap a quilt and then wrap a pull a wrap over top of it and just take the quilt the up quilt over the knee? higher up over the knees. Yeah. Or like a no bow kind of thing. Um, we used to use a lot of the neoprene bell boots. I would just flip them upside down. Um, used to be able to get we tried standard bread knock boots, but they, they were designed to go just straight forward. They weren't designed for the side to side that the winners and the cow horses have. Um, I think those were always my big ones. The upside down neoprene boot and the big polo wrap up over the knee. Yeah. And what are the drawbacks to those? Like obviously that what we're going to show them today is the the, what we think is the best option, but what are the drawbacks to both of those options? Like, what's the drawback to doing the quilt? Or what's the, what's the pro and con of doing the quilt? Time was the quilt. You know, it's definitely time. time. And if somebody doesn't know how to wrap, you, you know, you can really mess a horse up with a bad wrap, with a polo wrap. So if they weren't wrapped properly, that was always a concern. And the time, it just took more time harder to wash. Yeah, you have to wash them. them all the time. <laughs> yeah. Or you drop them off in the laundry room and hope the wife doesn't Yeah, work. nice. And then the upside <laughs> down 
Bowels works decent, but what they, you know, they just they just moved a lot. They definitely had a lot of movement to them. Um, and they're not quite big enough. Like you're kind of, it's difficult to get it done up, and it's difficult to get it to go right over the top part of the knee. It kind of covers the bottom part quite well, but doesn't cover the top part of the knee. Mm -hmm quite as well, but it's an inexpensive way to do it, I think. You get, you buy a set of two um, of the neoprene Well, now you to order the extra large. Yeah, flip huge. it upside down. You get and then two use those for their covers. Yeah. Both of them, they both worked fine. Yeah. They had their pros, they had their cons, but they worked all right. Okay, so now let's show them what our favorite options are. So we have two different kinds of knee boots are two different styles. They're actually the same brand, but they're two different styles here. This one is the first one. This is the one that has been in production for longer. It has a solid piece of neoprene and then it's extra, um, extra reinforcement through the middle. And then it has two pieces of Velcro, one for below the knee and one for above. Do it. These ones here, the main thing when putting these ones on is you make sure it's snug right on top of the splint boot. You don't put these ones on over the splint boot or they'll come down. So as long as you put it on with that neoprene is tied right under the splint or the, on top of the splint boot, it was good. For, you know, there's all that padding right there and right there. That's where you want to really protect them at. Um, you know, they fit really nice as long as you keep them up into there and they look pretty tidy. And, and you don't easy. need, yeah, you don't need one on each side. We have one on each side for today just to show you the two different ones. But if you buy knee boots, you don't have to buy two and put them on both. You would buy one knee boot and having one on one side is enough to protect both knees. Do you want to show them that one? So this one is a newer boot, a newer style, and it's thicker. It's definitely a fair bit thicker in here. It's very similar to the bell boot, like when we would use a flipped upside down bell boot, but it's got the addition of this Velcro in here. It's got like a Velcro collar there that actually attaches to um, your split boot or your sport boot so that it stays up. So this one here, this edge right here will still go on the top of the splint boot and that still lays in there this just wraps around, and then that little bit of Velcro is overlapping the splint yeah. so that it cannot fall down. That's really, yeah, it's really secure, so that won't fall down. These ones here, I think I like a little bit more. They aren't maybe as tidy looking as the other one, but you got air coming up into here. You do have to watch because air can get up in here, a little dirt can get in there, but they stay in place better. Um, we see it all the time at horse shows. Um, you know, somebody's riding and their knee boots down over here and it isn't doing anything right there. So the Velcro is awful nice just to keep it in place. It can't move around. You know it's on their knee where it's supposed to be. And lots of neoprene um, covering front to back. You can get different brands that have a much thinner neoprene. I'm not looking to cheap out when it comes on my knee boots because that, you need that knee to be healthy and you want to take care of it. So that little extra neoprene is worth it um, to keep those things sound. So can we just take this one off and show the difference in the thickness of neoprene? So this one has that much there and then it's got a double layer. I'm trying to juggle gloves and stuff here. And then it's got a double layer in here. So you're you're probably ending up with, oh here, you can see it better. Probably ending up with a very similar amount of actual protection on the part of the knee that sticks out that gets whacked the most. Can you hold that one up to it? The important spot is in here. Yeah. And that's where you want. Yeah. This one here can just go anywhere around the knee and it doesn't matter. And you have it all the way around. Okay, so those are, two options our two favorite options and our very exciting announcement today is that we um have partnered with classic equine and we are selling these on our shop 
Um, you can check them out at RainingTapCanada.com under Knee Boots. This one is called Knee Boot. That one is called Knee Boot 2. And I think it's a $3 difference between the two. I think that one's either 2 or $3 cheaper. So they're, they're very similar in price. And if you have questions about how to use them or which one you should choose, you are more than welcome to shoot us a message. Um, but we're, we're pretty excited to be adding these to the shop. Really, really nice product, lasts a long time, um, and just, just works. One thing both of these knee boots can do is they go over, if somebody likes polo wraps, they go over polo wraps, if, mm -hmm. um, different brands, anything that's neoprene, these will stick to. Um, the polos, the fleece, anything like that, this one will stick to. And then that one just cups in on top. So they go with other splint boots. Um, it doesn't have to be, uh, it's not a set with the classic beak one. We like the classic beak one, but. It can go with the existing stuff. can go with whatever you have. So, yeah. Okay, thanks for being here with us, you guys. If you have more questions about knee boots or knee protection, you're more than welcome to shoot us a message. If you have a question or a topic for a future live, send that in to us, either wherever you're finding us or directly to our email at hayescofelph at gmail.com. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.